Hi, we're back on the Caprice. Uh, hope y'all can hear me. It's raining pretty bad outside. Got some thunderstorms moving through. Gonna be today and I think tomorrow too. Anyway, right now the Cadillac headliner is in the car. Uh, it's of course not done, but it's being held up with some masking tape and I got a little clamp right there holding the front up just to give me an idea of uh, where everything's got to go. Like I said, I do still have the Caprice headliner. So, what I'm thinking is I'm going to lay the Cadillac headliner on top of the Caprice headliner, cut out what's not needed, and then graph the outside edge of the Caprice headliner into the Cadillac headliner. That way, around all your edges, everything goes back to factory, uh, all your molding fits up like it's supposed to. It doesn't interfere with any of that. All your pillar covers and everything goes just back the way it should. The only difference is you'll have all the cool little curves and stuff on the headliner. Uh, it will be getting recovered to match the rest of the interior. So when I get done doing all the fiberglass work, it might be a little ugly, so bear with me. But uh, when we get it recovered, it'll look way, way better. But as of right now, I'm going to get this headliner back out of the car, get it laid on top of this other one. We'll go from there. Now, before I take this headliner out, this kind of gives you an idea of uh, what it looked like. Of course, I got an armrest back there, propping the back up. One thing about this headliner is I've already cut off. I don't know if you can see that shadow back there. But I've already cut off that much of the headliner because it's actually about a foot, foot and a half too long for this car. But I think it'll be cool to put a Cadillac headliner in it. No problem. As you can tell, Cadillac headliner sitting on top of the Caprice headliner. I've trimmed up the Cadillac headliner. I trimmed some off the back, some off the front, both sides. Now, the new problem is, is since I trimmed it, it is too narrow. Before I trimmed it, it wasn't going to fit. Now it's not going to fit because it's too narrow. So what we're going to do, about right here, about right here, we're going to split this headliner into three pieces. We're going to split it all the way down, full length, both sides. We're going to spread it apart. Probably going to glass it back together. That way we know where it needs to be. Then I will lay it back on top of the Caprice headliner. Cut out what I need. Glass it in and go from there. And this ain't going to stop me. Uh, it's a small little hurdle. I mean, I've done way worse. <laughs> but we're going to get this thing cut apart, spread apart, put back together go from there. It's going to take a little longer. Uh, there's probably going to be multiple parts to this headliner. So uh, we'll see how far we make it this week and go from there. So Now before I split this thing apart, I'm going to take my masking tape and I'm going to make some marks. The reason I'm going to do that is when I split this thing apart, I got to know where it goes so everything stays straight, stays in line when I put it back together. So.
liner cut apart. I uh, did a little different. I didn't split it straight down. I kind of cut it around the about way. Uh, I did make my marks on the back side, but probably not going to need them now, the way I cut it. Let me show you what I got. All right, here's the three pieces. We got the center piece. We got both side pieces. Like I said, I did make my marks, but the way I cut it to keep it in line, this right here just had to butt back up against that. And on the back side, same way. Kind of like a puzzle. Because all we're doing is spreading it apart. This back back here, this will probably be glassed in. So now all we got to do is figure out where we need it to be. I'll probably have to trim some more of this. Make it straight. As well as this other side. Right here. But I'm going to figure out where we need to go with it. And start putting this thing back together. Headliner is put back together. Uh, everything's where it needs to be. I still have to fiberglass it. Uh, I'm going to put some fleece down on it. We're probably going to do the whole underside. That way it's all one solid piece. We've got to do the fleece, get the resin on it after it cures, knock it down with uh, some sandpaper real quick. And then we're gonna do some fiberglass mat. That way it's good and strong, ain't going nowhere. So I'm gonna get on that, and then we'll get done with that. We'll get it on the Caprice headliner, see what we gotta do to make it work. Fleece laid down. I'm gonna let that dry. Get good and dry. Then we're gonna hit it with some fiberglass resin. Then we're gonna go over that with a fiberglass mat and some more resin. Liner put back together. We got the resin put down on the fleece. It's still tacky right now. We're waiting on it to dry. Whenever it dries, we're going to sand it. Then we're going to go back over probably just where I cut it with the uh, fiberglass mat. Uh, something I knew when I first cut this apart was going to glass it back together. I knew it was going to be a little bit heavy. So I don't want to add too much weight. 
because all you got in the middle to hold it up is that magnet right there. I'm possibly going to add another magnet. That way it has two, or I may just put a bigger magnet on it because I don't want to be riding down the road and it fall out on him or anything. So we're going to wait on this to dry. We're going to sand it and we'll hit it with the mat. fiberglass done on our Cadillac headliner. Uh, it's all one piece now. It's all solid. It is a little heavy. But that's okay. I went this morning picked up some magnets. Bought two of these. Uh, two inch diameter 25 pound pull. Yes, I got them from Arbor Freight. I mean, it's a magnet. And I also bought these. They are 65 pound pull. I got a little hook on them for like hanging pictures or something. I don't know. But probably gonna use these. Go a little overkill. Uh, go overkill on a lot of things. But honestly, probably use both of them. I mean, I got them, why not? But as far as what we're gonna do next, we're going to get the uh, Caprice headliner, get the outside edge it cut out. As you can see behind me, we got the outside edge cut off the Caprice headliner. It is now stapled in place, ready for fiberglass on the uh, Cadillac headliner. So next thing to do, we gotta carefully flip this thing over so it don't fall apart, do our fiberglass work, wait for it to dry and we're gonna test fit it. Liner put back together. It's all one piece now. Uh, fiberglass is dry. Still not done with it. Um, not gonna have time to test fit it. That's gonna be the next video. I've also still got to add the magnets over there in the middle to help hold it up. Uh, one thing I'm probably gonna have to do is trim off the edges. I did leave it a little bit too long. I did it on purpose. That way if it is too long I can trim it back and make it fit um, that way I don't have to go back and add any more fiberglass or whatever to it but like I said it's back together it's all one piece and uh, next week we're gonna be trying to finish this thing up if you like the build want to see more of it or just want to see me do more stuff like this consider subscribing drop me a comment let me know what you think see y'all next time Thank you.